Hello everyone and welcome to Remote Learning. So in this short video we're going to go through using the CP page, getting into a good routine, using the schedule, how to communicate and how to do your weekly reflection. So let's start off with using the CP page which is going to be exactly the same as what we've been using all year. So I've gone into one of the classes but everyone's class is very similar and you can see here I've called it Remote Learning RP3 CP. And then if I just go to the right so we can actually see what that looks like, it looks remarkably similar to, well, in fact, identical to uh, how it normally looks with your days and your instructions. So basically on Monday, uh, 30th of March, for this particular class, I'll have all the instructions, what to do there, and you can follow along just as before. And these tasks are meant to be designed to last 30 minutes. So if we look at the new schedule here, you can see that um, you have 30 minute classes each day. So on Monday, for example, um, your first class period two will be from 9.15 to 9.45 there. Then you'll always get a 15 minute break and then it will start from 10 to 10.30. So we think it's really important to get into a good routine. So do your very best where you can to stick to this schedule. Go on to the one note of your class when you need to and follow the instructions and the teacher should have set approximately 30 minutes of activities and thinking to do there. Sometimes that might involve some synchronous work where we might connect using Teams or Zoom um, and also a lot of asynchronous work with videos provided and activities and assignments. Um, assessments will happen usually in our testing blocks as normal. Next is communication. As we're now working in an online environment, as a remote learning, we don't want suddenly emails to spike and we all get unbelievable numbers of emails. So in our classes, we're going to basically be using our Yammer. We've got them set up. I've sent you the links and if you don't find them, please just ask. Um, there's AP Statistics, Data Management here and IDC for you here. So we've got our Yammers. I suggest that you save it into your bookmark up here so click on saving in your bookmark and then you can do that you can see i've got yammer saved in my bookmark here uh oops other one here it is uh anyway it's there i promise you um so there it is so basically um you can see here that it's a great place we should be using yammer for all extra help questions and any questions about the course and i'll be giving also course information there as well. So the two main forms of communication, the main form one is the CP page and that's where everything will be and we'll be working with OneNote just as normal. The second one will be Yammer. So some of us haven't used Yammer as much so that's something new that you'll have to get used to. You can see here that Faraz in AP Statistics has already been using it this week and he's been asking questions and I've been answering them so that's wonderful. Well done Faraz and everyone else um, get onto Yammer. You can still use email, but email should be for when it's a one-to-one -one correspondence and confidential and you don't want anyone else to see it. If you want extra help, please put it on Yammer. Don't send me an email because then everyone gets help with the same idea, which is really useful and efficient. Every week by 8.30 p.m. on Sunday, you will have to complete a reflection for every teacher. This reflection will be identical. Some teachers will post it in the A-tab and some teachers may do a survey form, um, but the instructions will be in your CP page. So you can see here under essential homework, I have put complete the weekly remotely journal by 8.30 p.m. Oakville time, Sunday. It's in your OneNote in a section named weekly journal. So if I just click into a student's OneNote here and go into their weekly journal, which is this section here, you can see that the weekly remote journal is here and every week you will have to um, answer these questions which are uh, really really good and we've been doing journaling in some courses so please we just want to continue with that and this is an opportunity for you to tell me how everything is going so what's gone well for you what have you accomplished this week in terms of your learning what has not gone well really important how could I improve the learning for you in this course and anything else you want to share and every week I will be checking that and this will be an attendance check as well so this is how I'm going to check on your attendance and every teacher is and also um, 
I will do a response to it. So you're going to put your reflection in here on Sunday 5th of April by 8.30 will be your first one. And also you will then have a response from me. And I will likely do an audio response rather than a written response. Now you can choose to do an audio response, a written response or a video response. This is how to do that. So if you want to do uh, a written response, you know how to do that. But if you want to do a in 2016, if you want to do a um, audio or a video reflection, that's fine. That's perfectly great. You click on insert up here and then just record audio and it will start recording the audio and put it in that box or you can record the video. I wouldn't recommend video too much because it takes a, a lot more bandwidth. So probably recommend audio, but of course you can do with video. So that's it from me for my first video. Um, we've covered everything in terms of the remote learning welcome using the CP page as normal, you getting into a good routine and I'm going to get into a good routine as well, communicating using Yammer more than usual, um, but CP page is still the main one and then um, your weekly reflection and attendance. So really looking forward to teaching you um, more to follow, follow on the CP page and please let me know if I can help in any way. Bye.